in our service uh, with the ordinance of believers' baptism. The Bible tells us that after a person makes a profession of faith in Christ, that sometime soon after that, they are to enter the waters of the baptistry. As a public testimony that they are unashamedly deciding to follow Jesus and yielding their life to the sovereignty of God in all things. So this morning, uh, Eli, who comes with us, uh, comes before us today, he comes as a testimony that God has changed him. That God's done something in his life of, of great significance. And we do that before our church and our faith family so that you know and he can testify to the goodness of God. There may be some of you that are here today that maybe you've made a profession of faith, but you've never actually entered into the waters of the baptistry. Jesus commands baptism over our lives to walk in obedience. It's a public testimony that we're not ashamed to, to believe in the gospel and to call upon his name. And so if you're here today and, and you've not been baptized, let this be a testimony and a challenge to you to walk in obedience just as our dear friend Eli is this morning. Eli and Lee, come join me. So this is my, my little buddy Eli McChesney and his dad, Lee. Lee uh, and his wife, Amy, have served faithfully here at our church for a number of years. Lee uh, serves as a deacon, and then he leads alongside Amy our re-engaged ministries. Uh, the McChesneys are, are a great example to our church of just what it means to be faithful and committed to the church and to use our gifts to serve the church. We believe as a church that it's our opportunity and our blessing to partner with parents to disciple your kids. It's not the church's primary duty to do that. In fact, it's our duty to help you come alongside your kids to be able to do that. And I think that Lee and Amy both are leaving a testimony here about what it means to disciple their kids. Um, Lee came to me some time ago and just talked about a conversation that him and Eli had had. And, and we wrestled together alongside one another on whether or not Eli was ready to accept the Lord when he fully understood and, and both of us uh, were, were, were totally emphatic that he knew Jesus and wanted to walk with Jesus and he loved Jesus. And we talked about baptism and what baptism means and, and our need for a Savior and, and our sin and how it separates us from God. And Eli understands all of it. And, and typically what happens is that when a, when a dad gets the opportunity to either lead their kid to the Lord or when they're actively engaging and discipling their kids. I love it when the dad is brave enough to come up in this water and to baptize their own children. And that I get to be a part of that and witness that as a pastor, but we're encouraging dads and families to disciple their kids. And so Eli, I told you a moment ago how proud I am of you, but I know that there's a whole bunch of people out there that are watching you right now that are proud of you as well. And you're doing this as a testimony to them that you've agreed to follow the Lord Jesus, and that you've yielded your heart and your life to Him. And that we're supportive of that. We want to encourage you in that. And we want to, to do anything that we can to help you grow and walk with Christ all the days of your life. Set that for you. Eli, this is a, a proud moment for your dad. Because of that, I get to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the 